fun, girl. Okay, come on along if you want to. Pine Ridge Station, this is Turner. Pine Ridge, go ahead, Scott. I'll be at the Hunter Town Council meeting for the next couple of hours going over that future planning program I laid out for him. Well, I could use some new ideas to bring that place back to life. It used to be a sportsman's paradise when I was a boy. It will be again, once they introduce new game birds and animals. Get rid of the water pollution, give the fish a chance. Could mean Christmas 12 months a year for those local merchants. You don't watch out, they're gonna elect you mayor. I might accept the job. 20, 30 years. I'll check you later. Byron. <laughs> I'm all right, I'm all right. You ever ridden one of those before? <laughs> you couldn't tell. Come on, I'll give you a hand. And thanks to you, friend, I remember to break in time. I would never forgive myself if anything happened to you. Makes two of us. By the way, my name's Scott Turner. Hi, I'm Jeff Treat. I'm spending my spring vacation with my grandfather, Zach Treat. He's uh, something of a fixture around here. He's chairman of the Hunter Town Council. I know. And... We've been working together for the past six months. He's one of my favorite people. Of course. You're the ranger who has plans to put Hunter back on the map. Well, I was hoping I'd get to meet you, but not flat on my back in the middle of the desert. Well, let's call it quits for today, though. Look, why don't you give me a hand? We'll get that on the pickup, and I'll give you a hitch back to your grandfather's house. Well, that'd be great. My pleasure. By the way, you never did mention what brought you out to the new grassland site. Well, I'll tell you. We're just trying to picture what it might look like after you fellas planted some seeds and trees instead of bombs. You're heading back there for some checking after the council meeting. Pick you up. Give you a rundown to the shape of things to come. All right. Okay, I'll be ready and waiting for you. I think I owe you a first class lunch, lady. Stay with me. <laughs> Looks like you got yourself a deal. I'll pick you both up at 1 30. Let's go. Come on, girl. Let's go, Les. <laughs> Come on. You know, if I'm not mistaken, the Air Force stopped using this bomb range right after the Korean War. That's right. But the decision to use this for a national grassland wasn't made until this year. That's when the Forest Service took over, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, it takes us. Well, it's up to us to bring it all back to life. <laughs> it's going to be one whale of a job when you consider 
There were about a million pounds of bombs plastered all over this area. Come on. Sung view. Yes, it is. Well, I got some surveying to do here. You want to give me a hand? Sure. What do I do? Give me this first. You take this end. Yeah. And you walk towards the opening of those rocks. The opening of the rocks. Uh huh. Right. Then what? <laughs> you want to do? That's it. Pull it tight. Okay. Air Force ever missed that one? Huh? I don't know. Ordnance fine tooth comb this whole terrain. This one must have been very deep enough to avoid any detector. I gotta get out of here fast. Hold still, Jeff. Cause a slide. I wrenched that bomb loose. Maybe exploded. You mean after all these years? Any bomb that doesn't explode on contact's got to be considered live. We'll find out soon enough. Fine, Lassie. Now stay. What's the verdict? I don't know enough about bombs to say anything. Except we need help and we need it now. Pine Ridge. Turner. Pine Ridge. Operator? This is a Pine Ridge Ranger Station. Emergency. Will you keep this line open for a military call, please? Thank you. Hey, Scott. Air Force tells me the nearest explosion ordnance disposal is 400 miles from here. I'm waiting for him to call me now. Chuck, notify the highway patrol. Have them set up a roadblock, will you? We don't want any well-meaning passers-by stopping to try to give us a hand. Right, will do. Give me the highway patrol, please. Emergency. Scott, Chuck here. What's the scam? Patrol car is on its way. Radio tuned to our frequency. 
What about the roadblock? Set up in both directions. Do you read me, Ranger? Loud and clear. Is there anything I can do to help? There will be, as soon as the Air Force starts coming up with some answers. Uh, Scott, EOD, that Explosive Ordnance Disposal, identifies that bomb as a 250-pounder. Am I right to assume it's alive? Absolutely. It's capable of exploding in hours, minutes, even seconds. OK. Can EOD tell me how to disarm it? Are there any markings on the nose of the bomb? Hold on, I'll check. You heard correctly, yellow markings. Oh. Wait a minute, I'll, uh, I'll relay that. Yellow markings indicate that bomb is loaded with the most powerful of all explosives. Nothing but the best for us. And from your description of the size and shape of the bomb, you say it's got two separate fuses. Wonderful. The tail fuse is an impact type. They think it could be a M190. That's M190. Come on, what's with the code numbers? Tell me how to start disarming the darn thing. Well, look, Scott, I don't blame you for doing a burn, but unfortunately, you can't start the disarming procedure until you get the fin off. Then you uh, unscrew the ring lock nut on the rear of the bomb. They say an ordinary pair of snippers, even a screwdriver can do the trick. I got some tools in the pickup, but I can't get down there. I can't risk moving back and forth. <laughs> Wait a minute. I see you might be able to do it without causing too much vibration. Hold on, Chuck. Come here, Lassie. Officer. Yes, sir? We have a colleague with us named Lassie. I'm sending her down to you. In my pickup's a set of tools. Tie a pair of snippers and a screwdriver together. Give him to Lassie, and have her bring it up to me. All right. Go to the truck, Lassie. Go. All right, go, girl. Go, and good luck. Good girl. Now back to the truck. EOD's right. It's an M190. All right. Now, they say that the impact fuse, which you can see now, is probably rusty. You'll need oil to lubricate it. Safety pin or a cotter pin or something to stabilize the mechanism. You got that, officer? Oh, yes. But, uh, where can I hope to find a pin in the midst of 50,000 acres of sand? You'll find some paper clips on my notebook in the back of the driver's seat. 10-4. Well, looks like you've got work to do. You hear something? No. Just my imagination. You just trying to keep my confidence up? No, no, no. That's your job. I'm too busy trying to keep up my own. Good girl. Good girl.
That's that. Let's get to the other fuse. Now, wait a minute, Scott. The EOD wants to know if there's any sound in the nose. Yeah. Steady ticking. Scott, that very definitely means the nose fuse is in motion. It's going to be very tricky from here on in. You're going to work fast, but hold that nose section just as gently as possible. Well, I can't reach you from here. i got to go around the other side. Stand by, Chuck. Fuse is completely covered. Watch it now. The slightest movement could trigger the plunger, fire the lethal charge in the fuse. And... We know what'll happen then, Chuck. What do I do next to put this one out of business? A wrench, a small piece of wood or metal, you know, to jam the plunger. A little piece of tape to hold it firm. Lassie, you'll have to go back to the truck. Officer, have you got those instructions? Oh, yes, sir. Lassie, go to the truck. Go, Lassie. Go. <laughs> You know, I think the worst part is being trapped here and not being able to help. Something to tell your grandchildren about. Lassie. Over here. Around here, come on. Thank you. Okay. Come on, Scott. Time's running out. Okay, shoot. What do I do? Step number one. That's to jam the fuse plunger. Now, this is done by setting a couple of wedges in between the forward section of the fuse, huh? Okay, hold on. Wedges are in place. Secure the wedges and the plunger with tape. Taping's finished. Take the wrench. Wrap it around the portion of the fuse closest to the body of the bomb. With this wrench, you won't. Not the right kind. Hold on a minute.
is unscrewed. Now, very slowly, gently, pull that fuse straight back. Here's this out, Chuck. And carefully set it down in a safe place. My right, pleasure. Here we go. Come on, Lassie. 